Hello everybody, welcome back here to franktortorici.com. Again, as always, I'd like to welcome you, whether you're joining me through Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter. As always, welcome. So, real briefly today, I want to just touch on, what are you guys drinking? Are you drinking soda? Diet soda? Uh, diet iced teas? Uh, Crystal Light this, and Diet Snapple that, and Diet Coke, and Coke, and Pepsi, yada, 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 the list goes on. Well... If you guys are drinking all those toxic acid forming sludge drinks, you're, uh, you're going to be dealing with some trouble. I recently came across this article uh, from the Texas Science Institute and they did a study on soda drinkers, both diet soda and regular soda drinkers. And they found that people who drank regular soda and diet soda in comparison to a group of people that just drank water, both the soda drinkers had a substantial amount of weight gain. Even the diet soda drinkers, to all you diet soda fanatic drinkers out there. Now, you ask the reason why? Well, it's real simple. See, the body really doesn't determine good sugar from bad sugar. So, because of the sweet taste, the taste buds, when they, when they ingest the sweetened, fake sweetened taste, which, by the way, did you know that aspartame, which is the sweetener for all diet drinks and different, you know, additives that they put sugar-free types uh, labels on things, well, aspartame actually comes, ready for this, from the E. coli virus, the actual fecal matter of the E. coli bacteria. That's the main ingredient in aspartame. Look it up. It's public record. I'm not making it up. Just the way it is. So anyway, back to what I was saying. When you ingest sweet things, the body can't determine good sugar from bad sugar. It just it sends the sensories off to the tongue that it's ingesting something sweet or carbohydrates. Therefore, the body has to, has to start producing more insulin to regulate the blood sugar. So whether you're drinking diet soda or regular soda, you are increasing your chances for diabetes ridiculously because, again, you are tricking out your system. So really, to sum this quick little blog up, stay away from all the fake stuff if you're going to ingest sugar. Now again, the body can't determine good sugar, bad sugar, so you always need to watch your sugar intake. But if you are going to ingest sugar, ingest it from real fruit and vegetable sources. Invest in a juicer, use it for yourself and your family. It's the easiest, quickest, simplest thing you can do. It's not time consuming to make a juice any more than it is to make yourself a meal. You just have to make the call for yourself what is more important and what do you want out of life, health or sickness. Happiness or sadness? It's very simple. And I know many of parents out there who would walk to the end of the earth and back for their children. Do your children a favor, parents. No matter what the kid begs for and cries for and tries to bargain with you, keep it out of their system. All those types of chemically induced drinks, they only impact your body just like heroin would to a heroin addict. There's no real substance there. It's a fake high. It shoots your levels through the roof. And then you come completely down to a point where you need more and more and more just to feel fulfilled. But you're never even getting fulfilled because there's nothing there beneficial that your body needs or wants. It's a complete fake high which will just trigger more desires and cravings for other fake things like a McDonald's or Pizza Hut or Burger King or Taco Bell or Wendy's. The list goes on and on and on and on and on and on because there's so much cook accessible to us all over the place. Now, also when I say fruit, I mean fresh fruit juices. You also need to watch the Tropicana, the Naked Juice, all those different types of drinks that are pasteurized and added sugar to them. It's still going to trick your glycemic levels out as well. Is it a better choice than the Diet Soda and the Diet Snapple and all those things? Absolutely. Okay, so pretty much what I've given you there are two phase levels. Get the pasteurized juices or go the real way and drink the real juice and make it yourself. Those are your two options. But diet soda and soda and all the fake iced teas and lemonades and all that, those are non-existent. Should never enter one's body if you are trying to achieve happiness and health and vitality. So you heard it here. Again, if you guys have not subscribed already, just click the, the subscription button right here. It is free. You can follow me on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And again, pass these videos along to your family and friends. It's summertime out. Kids are out of school. And, you know, we just need to keep this information pumping to parents' ears to really help make the right choices for their children. 
So I want to thank you guys. Peace and love.